In this video, we're going to go over on how to use the C travel script in Automatic 11.11 to make something like this. Before we get started, of course, like, subscribe, notification bell, all that jazz for more videos like this. Now, let's dive in. All right, so we are in Automatic 11.11. If you do not have the C Travel script installed, all you're going to have to do is go to Extensions. You'll go to Available. You're going to click Load From. And then what I generally do is I put, I will type in what I'm looking for, and it doesn't show up because I already have it installed, but it will show up for you. And once it's installed, you'll probably just want to apply and restart the UI, and then you'll it, which will refresh your website and we can move on. So first things first is I put in my prompts and the negative prompt and I, so here's the thing that's special about this script is you can see it's down here at C travel. It won't work if you use Euler A or anything that ends in A for whatever reason. So for this, we're just going to use DPM plus plus to Amkaris. And I'll put this to 25. It doesn't really matter. It's a personal preference because it doesn't have a face because we're doing an astronaut. I'm not going to worry about that. So what I will generally do is first I'm going to trim this off. And I'm going to generate a bunch of images, just a batch of 100. And then I'm going to kind of go through those and find which ones I like the most. This will make sense in a moment. I will be back once these have generated. All right, so we have our batch of 100 that I went through and I've gone and chosen the, the seats that I like the most and I have put them in here. The reason that I put these seats in here is generally I find that if I pick specific images that I think will work well together, seat traveling does better instead of using random seeds. But uh, we're gonna keep these at, at basic settings and then we're gonna compare the two between seeds that I've set and then random ones. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to show the difference between destination seeds, and these are the ones that I chose, and random seeds. I'm just choosing four because it's easy, so we're going to see examples of that. Now we're going to get into the steps, and we're going to do just different steps between 10, 20, and 30. Now you can see that the more steps at 30 fps is going to get you a smoother video and the less it's going to be much faster because it has less frames to work with we're also going to dive into the loop back to initial seed so we can see what that looks like and now we're going to deal with the fps it's normally at 30 when you bring this up so we're going to do 10, 20, and 30 so we can see the differences with the step of 20 for all of them. Now, when we look at this, it's all at 20 steps, and you can see that the FPS is really going to change it. And in the opposite, that 10 FPS seems smoother than the others. We're going to look at lead in and out here and just to see how that looks different. We're going to dive into the SSIM threshold. Now, the creator of this recommends that for that, we want to be at 0.7 or 0.8. And that's a good starting value. And so we did for 0 0.6, 0 0.7, and 0.8 for this. When we look at the thresholds, the lower the number, the shorter the video, and the higher the number, the longer the video. We also have the SSIM center crop. So when we use this, it is recommended that we are at 0.4 according to this guide. 0.4 to 0.5, and then we did it at 25, 50, and 75. Next up, we're diving into rife passes on one, two, and three. And you're going to see the difference on how those can be better. It's also important to note that when you do do a rife pass, I have them all labeled here. They'll normally be numbered. Is that it's going to give you the normal one and then the rife one as well. I just changed the name for this for this video. But it's just so you can have both. 
and that the drop original frames, if you click this, if you're doing a rife pass, is it will just not include the original, it'll just do the rife one. Now when it comes to rife, at rife 3 you can see that it is really really smooth and it looks really really gorgeous. And rife 2 isn't bad either. The most important thing to realize with this is that the higher the rife number, the longer it's going to take to process. And now we're going to get into the interpolation curve and we have a bunch of different options here and we're going to give examples of all of those. Now you can see here there's a lot of different options to choose from. I've just cycled these to repeat four times and really you can kind of play with them and see which one is going to fit your needs the best. And then lastly we're going to go over the curve strength and this is all going to be on linear and it's going to be at 3, 6, and 9. All right, so now we're gonna dive into the C Travel Extras. And we're not, I'm not gonna give examples of all of these, but I'm going to kind of explain what they do. I, it's not something I would generally use. So we have Upscaler. We have a bunch of different options we can choose. I downloaded the Remacri one because I read that it was better than the rest. So I found a download for that. Upscale Ratio, I have it set to two. It's normally set to one. And that's, you know, when you're done with your video, it's gonna upscale it to whatever size you want at 512 by 512 if i make the upscale ratio of two then it's 1024 by 20, 1024 and if it's three it's 2048 by 2048 and etc the use cache is on by default and that's basically just going to say like cool i've already generated you know these destination seeds for example so i don't need to generate them again i'll just use the cache so it'll just make it faster you can turn on allow default sampler if you want but as stated before, the A's will break it and we don't want to break it. So let me play with it if you want, see what happens. Compare paths is interesting because say for whatever reason, I don't like this order, right? And I want to try to do a different order. Compare paths, instead of it going one, two, three, four, it's going to go one, four, two, three, two, three, or one, four, um, three two etc or four one two three whatever and so that's what that will do bump seed and i have the link to this right here basically it's taking your initial seed and it's baking a bunch of other similar images based off of that mixed within the destination ones just to try to find that perfect image you're looking for so say for example, you have one of your initial seeds and you think it's close, but it's not what I want, but I like the other ones. This will help you get to that point. But that's a personal preference. Then we have SSIM mid substep. That's default set at 0 0.001. That's basically if for whatever reason you can't smooth it out, whether using Rife or whatever. And basically it's like, man, I just can't get it. It will do a skip to try to force it to get better to not have any flickers. And so this might be helpful for that. And then the SSIM mint threshold is automatically set to 75. Now, basically from what I can understand is it can, yes, it will let you step the amount of steps to something as low as one and not have the SSIM basically give up just because the image halfway through that is bad. So because I have 10 steps, right? One step, it's so fast, it's not even a second long. And so basically it's like, all right, cool. So we're trying to generate something and you know, is it good, is it not? If it's just because the good, just because the image halfway through was bad, um, it's not gonna give up. So we are forcing it to go above that threshold will avoid generating anything at all just because we didn't have good luck and the quality didn't come out very well you can mess with this if you want i mean 75 seems to work fine for me go ahead and play with it and see what you think and just in case i forgot to mention if you go to your outputs folder text to image 
you scroll down, you'll find travels. This is where your sea travel things will go. There will not be named this, it will be named numerically. I just did that for this video. And that's gonna be it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please like, subscribe, notification bell, all that jazz, and I will see you next time.